What? What is going on, y'all? It is the caveman back at it again with another video. I, I I don't even know like where this came from. Like, what is going on? Yesterday on Tuesday, we finally got a day off. There was no major breaking NFL news that went down, but here on Wednesday, we just had to pick up right where we left off. Of course, I got my mods next to me to calm me down, but what the hell? Apparently, Tyree Kill is at Miami Dolphin out of nowhere. I thought the NFL was finally starting to cool off with all these crazy moves but then suddenly there's this big story breaking that apparently the Kansas City Chiefs and Tyree Kills camp were not able to come to an agreement on a contract extension and they gave him permission to seek a trade and now here we are. The Chiefs are trading six-time Pro Bowl wide receiver Tyree Kill to the Miami Dolphins for five draft picks a 2022 first round pick number 29 a second round pick number 50 and a fourth round pick as well as a fourth and a sixth round pick in the 2023 NFL draft sources tell ESPN. I mean this is uh, another blockbuster and not only did the Dolphins give up those five picks they are now making Tyree Kill the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL at four years, $120 million, including $72.2 million guaranteed. Uh, uh, once again, another number that is just completely unfathomable to the average human being like myself. But the way this offseason has been going, it's been kind of hard to have a bad offseason. Teams have been making humongous moves. All these superstars are moving out from other places. Other teams are relieving of cap space, getting these draft picks. But the Kansas City Chiefs, in this particular case, they really haven't made that much noise. They signed Juju Smith-Schuster, but now this? I mean, they're having, at least in my opinion, the worst offseason of any team up to this point. I mean, this guy was like their entire offense. I I personally do not understand this decision by Tyree Kill. I know the Chiefs really couldn't do anything about it because they did offer Tyree Kill a contract that would have made him one of the highest paid wide receivers in the NFL, but Tyree Kill didn't accept, so what else were they going to do? I just think if I was Tyree Kill, you know, if the Kansas City Chiefs were still paying me a lot of money, it might not have been top wide receiver money. I'm staying there to play with Patrick Mahomes to compete for a Super Bowl again for the next few years. Like, you are just staying there because that's where you're going to maximize your true self value. But instead, Tyree Kill decides to chase the bag, and in my my opinion he's not going to be producing anywhere near the level he was over in Kansas City not to mention he's not going to be playing for anything no chance the Dolphins even sniff the Super Bowl the AFC Championship they'll be lucky to sniff a playoff spot I'm not even talking from a Bills fan's perspective like I'm not scared of this move whatsoever Tyree Kill with Tua Tagovailoa is a lot different than Tyree Kill with Patrick Mahomes it's a completely different beast so I'm not just sitting here shitting on Tyree Kill in Miami for this decision because I'm a fan of the Bills who happen to be a rival of the Miami Dolphins these are my thoughts from a pure football fan Fan perspective. But not only do I not understand this move from Tyree Kill's standpoint, I don't understand this move from Miami's standpoint either, right? They gave up a ton of equity and resources and draft picks to acquire Tyree Kill, and they're paying him this obscene amount of money just to be able to hopefully make the playoffs. It feels like this pathetic attempt to try and join the arms race that's happening in this conference, and it's just not going to move the needle for them much at all. You would think a team making a trade like this and acquiring a player like Tyree Kill would move the needle for them so dramatically to the point where it actually seems worse for them to go out and trade away what they traded away to acquire Tyree Kill, but I just don't see it. You know, they may be a playoff team at best, but they're not getting past the wild card round. If they do, they're not getting past the divisional, and they're sure as hell not making it to the conference championship. I'm just not sure what the thinking was with the Miami Dolphins thinking this is actually going to help them, what the thinking was for Tyree Kill, even the Chiefs. I, I just don't quite get it. I mean, the Dolphins are still going to have to fight and scratch and claw internally inside of the AFC East to even make it anywhere. The Patriots are not going to lay down and die because you acquired Tyree Kill. Bill Belichick will figure something out to at least make your life hell. And then, of course, you have the Buffalo Bills. You got to get through them somehow. And even when you do, if you do make it out of the AFC East, then you got the AFC South and the Titans and the Colts, who are both going to be very good this year. And then who else do you got? Oh, yeah, the AFC North. And then, oh, wait, the AFC West. Like, this is just, it's a sorry attempt to try and keep up with the arms race, and I don't think it's going to be paying off for them. Tyree Kill is a great receiver. Don't get me wrong. And I am of the firm belief that when he was in Kansas City, City, he was the reason why that offense worked as well as it did. He was able to stretch the field and draw so much attention that Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey's job was made so much easier. In their own right, Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes are still their own superstars, obviously, right? So they're able to take advantage of the opportunities that Tyree Kill gave them. That's not going to necessarily be the case with Tua Tagovailoa and Jalen Waddle and Devontae Parker. I mean, it's just not the same beast. Tyree Kill needs Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey as much as, you know, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey need Tyree Kill. It's, it's a win-win side for both, but now it's a 
lose, lose side that they're both not going to have each other. So I say this with confidence. I would not be surprised if we saw one of the worst statistical seasons for Tyree Kill in his entire career. And I would not be shocked if after the 2022 season, he's all of a sudden out of the top five wide receiver conversation just because he was not able to produce at that same level. As for the Chiefs, I mean, this makes them the worst team in the AFC West. I'm sorry, it does. I don't know what they're going to do, who they're going to replace Tyree Kill with, but they are the least talented team in the AFC West. And I can't believe I'm saying that just two or three years after them making consecutive Super Bowls. It is, it's just so wild how fast things have changed. Oh yeah, I don't think anybody really wins in this scenario whatsoever. The Miami Dolphins, in my opinion, overpay for a wide receiver that's not going to move the needle for them much whatsoever. And then Tyree Kill, sure, he's getting paid a lot of money, but he's no longer going to be competing. He's not going to have nearly as good of a year as he's had in the past. And then the Kansas City Chiefs, although they gained a lot of equity for Tyree Kill, lose their superstar wide receiver and suddenly are the worst team in their own division. So who really wins here? I don't know. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. It seems like every single day there's some crazy news going down. I don't know what else the NFL has in store for us, but I'm eager to find out. As always, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff. If you want to hit the bell to be notified when I upload, I'd appreciate that. And then go over to Twitter, follow me over there. I'm picked as well. I have a TikTok down in my description that I think you should check out. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.